What's up guys? It's your boy Jay. Welcome to Jay's World, so let's talk. You know how we do it, so let's get into it. And welcome to another edition of Jay Topics. Alright, guys, check it out. I want to talk about DJ Envy. Y'all know DJ Envy from The Breakfast Club with uh, my girl uh, Angel Angela Yee and Charlemagne the God, okay? You know, I listen to The Breakfast Club as I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. But um, I was listening to them earlier uh, today and um, in the beginning of, I, it was one of their videos when um, Charlemagne the God was talking, what was Charlemagne talking about? He's always talking about something. But <laughs> anyway, uh, DJ Envy said that he and his wife, well, he just kind of merely mentioned it. He didn't give an, an official announcement, but he basically said he and his wife were working on a relationship book. That's right. DJ Envy and his wife, Gia Casey, are actually working on a relationship book so they can give all of you relationship advice on having a successful marriage and a successful relationship. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that great? Isn't that wonderful? This man right here, DJ Envy. Old lying, cheating ass DJ Envy. Yeah, that one. He's giving you relationship advice. Because I mean, like I said, who better to accept relationship advice from other than DJ Envy. Now let's see, this is his wife. Um... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's not his wife. That's Erica Mena from uh, Love and Hip Hop. I'm sorry, uh, what, where, where's his wife, where's his wife? Uh, okay, here's his wife. Okay, this, this lady is his wife. And as you can clearly see, DJ Envy has a type because honestly, I can't tell either one of those women apart. But anyway, so they are they're gonna come out with their relationship advice book and y'all go out and buy it because we all want relationship advice from DJ Envy and his wife. Are you gonna buy that book? Let me know down in the comment section. Just for a damn ridiculous. <laughs> All right, next, guys, I want to talk about Lauren Hill. That's right, y'all know the Lauren Hill from the, the from the famous uh, miseducation of Lauren Hill. We all know that jam. I think it was like the late '90s, and it bled over into the early 2000s. I know it lasted. It had a good two or three year run, okay? Well, Lauren is back, you know? And Lauren is actually uh, dropping a new song with Nas, okay? Uh, the song is called Nobody. Yeah, that's the name of the song. I'm very interested in, in, in hearing this song because it would be nice to hear from Lauren Hill again. Y'all, we haven't heard from Lauren Hill in a while. I mean, you know, I know she does still tour and, you know, and, and uh, but she hasn't really put out any new music. I think she tried to put out some music a, a few years ago and it was like all earthy and granola and she was singing about the mountains and the rain and it, 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 it. I'm like, Lauren, please stop. Just just, just stick to hip hop type stuff. You know, this. you, you got to stick to your strength, Lauren. You got to play to what what, what brought you to, to fame. Well, anyway, the reason why I'm even bringing this up, because in this song, apparently, Lauren Hill is going to address her fans complaining about her lateness. Now, you, if you guys don't know, not only is Lauren Hill very popular for the miseducation of, of Lauren Hill, her one and only album that was very, very famous, but Lauren Hill has been uh, very infamous for being late to all of her shows, all of her concerts. And y'all, when I say late, I'm not talking about fashionably late. Okay, you know, you know, fashionably late in my opinion is maybe 15 to 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. No, 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 no. Lauren Hill is not one hour late, not two hours late. She can literally be up to, I don't know, four or five hours late to her own shows. And when she gets to the concert venue, she then proceeds to scold all of her audience members and tell them how dare they complain that she's late. Well, Lauren, you know, Lauren has had enough. She says she's gonna get inside this, this track with Nas and she's gonna tell all of y'all off. How dare you 
uh, 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 complain that Lauren Hill is late to her shows. And I'm even going to quote exactly what she said. Lauren raps in her new song with Nas saying that my awareness is like Keanu in The Matrix. I'm saving souls and y'all complaining about my lateness. Oh yeah. <laughs> you heard me. You heard me. Well, actually, you heard her. She said she is like Keanu in The Matrix. Y'all sitting there three, four, five hours waiting on her and y'all complaining about her lateness. How dare you people? How dare you pay over $100 for a ticket to see Lauren Hill and you sit there and have the nerve to complain because she's a mere five hours late? Lauren, you have lost your rabbit ass mind. Uh, <laughs> I, you know what? At this point, I don't even see why people are still coming to see you in concert. No, seriously. I, I, I need to know down in the comment section, who is actually going to Lauren Hill's concerts at this point? This woman literally shows up that late, goes off in her audience, and y'all just jam to it like it's nothing. It, 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 it is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. I just want to say this. If, if you, at, at this point in 2021, are sitting in a concert venue waiting on Lauren, T on Lauren Hill four or five hours, you are a damn fool. You are a damn fool. Ain't no way in the hell I'm sitting up waiting on some damn Lauren Hill. And another thing, I have to go back to something that uh, Charlemagne the God uh, mentioned a few years ago. And y'all, I'm not the biggest Charlemagne the God fan. Charlemagne actually gets on my nerves and he just, he, he's a whole nother video. But I have to agree with what, with what Charlemagne the God said. And Charlemagne said that, why are we always kissing Lauryn Hill's ass over one album? One album! It's not like she has a, a catalog of music. You know what I mean? I mean, she's not like... Uh, Jill Scott or Aretha Franklin or, or uh, uh, Mary J. Blige, any of these great artists with these huge catalogs of music. The industry, for some reason, and a lot of her fans, kiss her ass over one album. And mind you, she didn't even write all the songs on that album. She actually had co-writers. Really? And y'all sitting up waiting four or five hours for her to come out and, and sing and then go off and scold you all because, because you're complaining that she's late? Y'all are better than me. It would never be me. It would never be me. Not only would I walk out, I would demand my money back. So, there you have it. So, like I said, <laughs> I'm interested in hearing what this song with her and Nas is going to be about. I'm sure it's going to be a good song because Nas is a great, he's a great artist. And so is Lauren Hill. She's very talented, but Lauren has uh, a lot of issues. I'll just say that. A lot of issues. And narcissism is definitely one of them. Okay? So I'm just curious. Are y'all going to check out this song? Are you going to go see Lauren Hill the next time she comes to a city near you? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. All right, next I want to talk about new music from Lizzo. That's right. Y'all, we have not heard new music from Lizzo since 2019. 2019, 2021. So it's basically been a couple years. And y'all, I'm actually very excited to hear what type of sound we are actually going to get from Lizzo. Um, I'll just say this. I will be completely honest with y'all. I've kind of pulled away from Lizzo. And the reason why I pulled away from Lizzo, because it just seems like over the past two years, Lizzo has been quite infamous. And it has not been for her music. It's just been for just dumb stuff. Y'all, don't you remember when she went off on the uh, on a uh, Uber Eats person? You know, lied on the girl, said the girl uh, was late with her. No, no, she said the girl stole her food or something. It was something to, to that effect. She got mad and put the girl's picture all out on her social media and people were harassing the girl and it turns out it wasn't the girl's fault. Uh, remember when Lizzo was uh, uh, twerking at a, a basketball game with all the kids and old people and, and parents and everybody. Like, she, remember she had all her butt cheeks out and, and twerking and acting a fool? 
Uh, who, what else has she been doing? I mean, Lizzo has been doing a lot, a lot, and, and, and she just she just gets on my nerves. I'll be honest, y'all. When when Lizzo first came out, I was the biggest Lizzo fan. Y'all know that. I've even talked about it right here on Jay's World TV. I was like, man, there's this girl named Lizzo. You know, she plays the flute, she sings, she raps. You know, and 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 and, and she's proud to be a a, a full figured fluffy girl, you know, not, a, not, a, not ashamed of anything, not afraid of anything. And she's gone from that to doing dumb stuff for clout and attention on, on, on social media. And then after she gets in trouble, she defaults to, oh, you're picking on me because I'm a big girl. And which that's not the case. I'm sorry, Lizzo, I love you. But for the past two years, you've been an asshole. You have been a complete asshole. And Lizzo, I just had to stop defending you. Lizzo, I love you. I like you. You are talented and you're brilliant. And I want to start liking you again. But from moving forward with this new music, I need to just, I need you to do what you were put on this earth to do. And that's just to produce great music. Okay? So please, Lizzo, stay off of the ground, stay off of Twitter, and just produce music. Okay? All right. All right. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and do what? Subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, please don't forget to head on over to Instagram and check me out at jaysworld.tv. That's J-A-I-S-W-O-R-L-D.tv on Instagram. And I'll holler at you later. Peace.